What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? I'm just sitting here in Ohio, waiting to get a load out of here. It's been pretty rough, guys. Where are you guys at? You guys been getting loads? I'm, uh, my first load this week. Didn't get anything Monday. Got a load Tuesday to Ohio. 625 miles for 90 cents a mile. 90 cents a mile. Which, you know, it's fine. It's okay. 90 cents a mile. But I got a little problem. You know, because... I was getting 90 paid or I was getting paid 90 cents a mile when I first started this job. And guess what? I was paying my cheapest price. I was paying a dollar ninety nine for fuel. Now I'm like lucky to find two dollars and sixty five cents. You know, I mean this fuel is hurting. This fuel is hurting big. You know, this three dollar range, I mean I only saw three dollars when I first started. That was like Pennsylvania. I mean, you would see that in California. Now three dollars is like everywhere. Three dollars, three dollars, three fifteen, three twenty-five. And I was in I was in California last week, and man, the prices were crazy. Some places trying to get four bucks. I think I paid three dollars eighty-five cents in uh, one spot probably higher than four dollars in some areas but what can you do I got out of there I actually got pretty decent freight out of there but I mean for the most part what sucks about that place you know you get sent to California and then they give you a load out of there for you know with cheap freight sometimes uh, who knows they might pay you 50 60 maybe 70 cents so you're getting a cheaper freight or cheaper load back from California and you gotta pay the high fuel prices as you're leaving California and let me tell you you're gonna feel those fuel prices you're gonna feel that difference kinda sucks uh... yeah this job I still enjoy the job it's not working out for me though. I can't really be a driver for much longer. It's really taking a toll on family life. And um, if you got a fresh marriage, you got young kids, especially, I would not recommend it. If you have a fresh marriage, you got no kids, I would definitely recommend it. Take your wife with you, make it real nice inside. That's actually a great opportunity. That's, that sounds. Yeah. We had a lot of fun. Me and my wife, we did it for the beginning when we had the opportunity. We went to Washington, Yellowstone. I can't remember if I was at Yellowstone by myself. But we went all over the place together, and that was a lot of fun. But you got a fresh marriage with kids, I would not recommend it. I'm actually trying to get out. As far as what I'm going to do with this particular industry, I'm not sure. If I want to go the fleet owner route, you know, for the time being, um, you know, I wouldn't want to make sure that my vehicle that someone's driving is tip top shape. I wouldn't want to put anyone in a position where I have to worry, you know, are they going to break down? Is something going to happen? You know, are they going to be able to take care of that situation? So, if I were going to go that route, I have to put that in my plans. Um, right now with everything I have basically I'm going to Washington this Tuesday flying there coming back the next Tuesday so I'll be gone a week and when I get back basically I gotta take my empty body put an engine in it get it running um I don't even know how I'm going to do this 100% yet because my mechanic that I got to go to um, is in Indiana which is like probably 
eight hour drive for me so I gotta drive eight hours just to take this van I know there's shops elsewhere but I've been to other shops and the guy was pretty confident he is like you know telling me it's me no problem you know Mercedes dealers you know they send their vans to me blah blah but one of the biggest reasons that I'm sending it to him is because he's the one that sold me this engine so I'm thinking maybe he just he knows what's going on with it he's not gonna tell me but um, because originally when he sold it he was telling me some BS about it and it turned out not to be what he said so I know he's a good mechanic he's an alright guy I mean I hope he wouldn't try to screw me on purpose I mean, a lot of people are out there like that but I'm gonna take it there but I have to get this other van running so I don't like have a, a lapse in time so I can just let it there for a couple weeks leave it there for a couple weeks and then have my other van ready to go I just keep the cycle going and then the goal is like basically to have two vans up and running and maybe get someone driving one and uh, I don't know we'll see what happens I gotta make some plans I gotta quit by this year so no more driving for me but I'm gonna try to make as many expediting videos as I can in the meantime kinda tell you guys exactly how it is because um, you know this, there's there's both sides to the story you know there's negatives and positives depending on the kind of person you are and the kind of situation you're in it might not be a good job it could be a great job honestly but uh, yeah we'll see hopefully something comes up let me guys know what you are at, you know where you're at what kind of loads you're getting what, you know, what are you guys getting paid I want to know what's going on in the business so let me know take it easy guys